Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. Okay, so, I lied in the last video. We're not actually going to do our, our dungeon, our first sage dungeon just yet. Now, but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. We're going to go right up to the front door of that dungeon. This is going to be kind of a short video, but here's the thing. The dungeon, I did a practice run of the dungeon, it's gonna be kind of a long video, so I'd rather just give it its entire video. We just, we got a few things leading up to the dungeon that I would just rather show. Mainly, we're gonna uh, properly explore, uh, uh, that's wrong. We're gonna properly explore, um, I couldn't get the song. We're gonna properly explore uh, Kakari Forest and see what's going on there. And we're gonna get, you know, on the path to the dungeon. And doing all that can take, uh, you know, that takes a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but it takes a little bit of time. And then the actual dungeon will take a lot of time. So I'd rather just conserve the time. Where is my horse of time? Where did she go? I literally heard her. Where are you? I didn't mean to talk to stupid Nobby. Ah, oh, man, I can hear her, but I don't know where she is. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to hoof it. My opponent is apparently broken. That occasionally happens. I don't know where. Like, I don't know, maybe if she's stuck on the other side of a river or something. But, ah, eh, we won't worry about it. Anyway, let's just properly explore Kakariko Forest and see what's... Or, Kakari Forest, I'm sorry, not Kakariko. Kakari Forest. One more time. Just want to make sure that she will be out here when I when I leave this place. That there you are. Where were you? I've been calling you and calling you. Anyway, you you hang or oh, are you following me? Okay. Good girl. You stay here. I'm gonna explore the village. I don't think it needs to be nighttime or daytime. We can just. Like, it doesn't matter what time it is. So let's just go here. And let's see what the place looks like. Now, I sort of told you that it was filled with monsters. Well, yeah, as you can see, there's monsters. And you are a big Deku Baba. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh, okay, that was an attack with the big Goron sword, and he still is alive. There we go. That works. Nice little Deku branches, now that I need it. Oh, that's annoying, because uh, I actually have to switch to the normal Master Sword. See, I knew there was a reason why I kept the Master Why I was hesitant to put on the big Goron sword. There we go. Let me try to kill some of the enemies around here. Yeah, how about that? I wonder if I can do that to just normal, uh, what do you call them? A deck of scrubs. So I could probably just... Ugh, Octo Rocks. You guys are annoying. There we go. Oh, and there's a Sculptula blocking. Hang on. Get get up there, Link. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. 
All right. Now the cool thing about Sculchlas, if I hit them with my hook shot, they just die. So like I don't have to wait for them to like expose their backside or any of that stuff. So that's kind of cool. All right, that's most of the monsters. Let's uh, let's actually uh, go into some of these places and talk to some peeps. All right, this is uh, hey there, kid. Haven't I seen you somewhere before, Mister? I I don't know. I mean, you look like every other cockery kid. Sorry, I went to the temple and it hasn't come back. Oh. I think these were the uh, the sisters, the the twin sisters. That was kind of that's kind of cute. Now, but surely that's not them, right? I mean, that obviously can't be them because that was seven years ago and they haven't aged today, right? Oh, look, all the monsters came back, so that's nice. So everything I did just now, completely pointless. Uh, this is Saria's house. Have you been traveling around much, Mister? Have you ever met a boy named Link? Uh. Why do you ask? Mito said that the great Deku tree withered because that boy did something wrong to it. Only Saria defended Link until she left. Maybe we misunderstood. Huh. I guess Mito is probably an adult figure and he's been spreading all sorts of propaganda about me, I guess. That's, that's what's going on here. I'm just gonna ignore the enemies at this point. I don't care. This is what, this is the, the shop, right? Yeah, I don't need to buy anything here. Oh, I, actually, I wonder what those two little girls said. Uh, you can buy... Okay, yeah. Okay, she's telling me that. Yeah, I can't use a Deku shield. It's only for kids. I, I noted that. I have one in my inventory. And uh, I can't seem to use it. All right, let's see. I went there. I think I went there, right? This is Saria's house? Yeah, this is Saria's house. Somehow I got turned around. Oh, this is Link's house. Let's go to Link's house and see what's up here. Ow! Really? Oh, wow. That's nice. Hang on. Let's go back to Saria's house. Since she has hearts always, always at the ready. Golly, he got me while I was trying to climb a ladder. Yeah, take that. Yeah, one strike and he went down. Alright. Let's see what is up at Link's house. Now, okay, if I can ever get on the ladder. Now, when we, um... When we, uh tamed Epona, or did that little mini-game with Epona, um, Malin said she was gonna give us a prize, and she was said it was a little too big, so she was gonna send it to our house. Whatever could it be? Our very own cow. We have a cow. Thanks, Malin. Thanks. You, you shouldn't have. You really, you really shouldn't have. I don't even know how she managed to get it here. Whatever. Um, actually, the nice thing about having a cow is that you can, um, you know, you can, uh, play your song, uh, the, uh, you can play a Pona song to it and get, um, uh, some milk from it. So you have your own supply of milk. Your own supply of milk right at your house. Which, of course, I don't need right now because, as you can see, I have, um, whoa. Uh -oh. Yeah, I knew you were there. I, I have fairies in a bottle, so I don't really need milk at this time. But, you know, there you go. And what is this house? Oh, this was Mito's old house. Hey, boys. I see. You didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. Did the meanies out there bother you much? Before the great Deku tree died, you wouldn't see things like that around here. Since it's dangerous outside, I always stay inside my house, but I'm bored to death in here. Yeah, that's a conundrum, isn't it? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, so the great Deku tree, him dying, I guess, is what brought all the monsters in. Why is it that 
Why is that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. Well, I am one of you. I, I lived here for my whole life. At least I think it was my whole life. I mean, why would it not be? Huh, wonder why he thinks I'm not one of them. I mean, I've clearly got a fairy. What do these kids want? Back when I was their age, and I didn't have a fairy, they used to make fun of me for not having a fairy, so I got one. And now they're like, now they think I'm not one of them? Like, what's going on here? Since the great Deku tree withered, more meanings have been appearing in the forest. I'm scared. Ah, eh, just hang out here. You'll be fine. Where's Saria? Do you know Saria, mister? That's weird. Where has Mito gone during such an emergency? I don't know. An evil wind is blowing from the direction of the forest temple. Saria left saying, I have to do something about it. The forest temple is located in the sacred forest meadow on the far side of the Lost Woods. Yeah, I know where it is. We're gonna go there. In this video, we're just not gonna actually go in the temple. We're not gonna go in the dungeon. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go... Okay. I think that's everything. I think that's all the places to explore. So, um... Um... I don't think there's any reason to go to the Lost Woods. So I'm not gonna bother... Uh, not the Lost Woods. Uh, the, um... Deku tree, so I'm not gonna bother. At least I hope not. Let me just uh, make a save state real quick, and I'm going to sort of deviate in that direction. Just to see if there is anything there. So yeah, if you, uh... play that minigame, um... With Epona, you uh, you get it. You get your own cow. Oh my goodness, I'm getting bombed. I, I I'm gonna reload state, so I don't really care about the damage. Oh wow, you guys are big and mean. Wow. As you can see, the Deku tree's actually closed up, so I can't even get back inside. Yeah. So um. Hope you took care of your business with the Deku Tree beforehand, like those last few gold sculptures, because it doesn't look like we can ever get back in there. Anyway, let's just go to the matter at hand. Let's um, go through here. All right. I wonder if, if that little girl is still hanging out here. Oh, there's the Skull Kid. Yeah, by the way, I misspoke. He's not a Deku scrub. He's a Skull Kid. Oh, hello. He actually attacks me. Um, I could probably attack him, but I'm wondering if I play the song. I wonder if that will actually tame him. I never knew this was here. No, I don't want to talk to Saria. No, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, well, I hit him and he disappeared. Huh. Let me, let me try one more thing. Oh, let me ride, let me actually ride this whole thing and see where it takes me. Oh, there's actually one in, um... The forest that I should probably ride. It, I don't think it really takes me anywhere um, important, but there is one in the forest that I could ride. So there's the kid. Yeah, he just wants to attack. wrong okay yeah so it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything out of that all right that's an interesting deal um and yeah if you're curious about that um that extra that magic leaf that we planted I think it was back here no oh there it is I see it 
That's bad. Where is all this gonna take me? Ow! Rude! How they still- how they managed to hit me? So this just- this just rides me around the whole forest. Okay. Some rupees up there that I do not care about because, as you can see, I am tapped or I am capped out rather. All right, let's uh, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. All right, let's see. We want to head this way. By the way, but yeah, those things—they're uh, not called Deku scrubs. I thought they were. Those are Skull Kids. Bit of a difference. I thought it might have been the one that we played the Ocarina for. Believe it or not, that one was a major character in Majora's Mask. Um, and what about this kid? I swear I've seen him before. Looks just like Mido, but I know it can't be Mido because, well, like I said, that was seven years ago. What are you? Though you wear cockery clothing, you can't fool me. I promise, sorry, I would never let anybody go through here. Oh, yeah? He's not gonna say, okay. Well, he says he promised Saria and that he would not let anybody go through there. And he, he also thinks that, you know, our clothing looks like cockery clothing, but, oh, I obviously can't be a cockery. I wonder why he thinks that. So I gotta prove to him that I know him or that I know the cockery or more importantly, that I know Saria. I, for the record, I didn't even look on the internet for this. This was just very obvious to me. You play Saria's song. Oops. What? Why are you not? Oh my goodness. What if I talk to the kid now? No, he, he. That's weird. Let me try that again. Oh, there we go. See, it didn't... I wasn't in the proper spot to play the ocarina. The, the score hadn't appeared. All right, my bad. First try. That melody! Saria plays that song all the time. You! Do you know Saria? That song... Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. I don't know what. Well, anyhow. Okay. Okay, so they're not going to actually say it. I'll just tell you. This kid's Mido. So, yeah. It's been seven years and Mido hasn't aged a day. And all of those other little children in the Cockery Village, you know, those were our friends from the very beginning of the game. They have not aged a day in seven years. Huh. I wonder why that is. Very strange. Anyway, from that point, uh, oh, I should say because I may screw this up. From that point, uh, we can go in here and I think we go right? Nope, that is wrong. We go left. Yeah, yeah, we go left. No, we don't go left. We go straight ahead? There we go, now we go right. I know we take a right at some point. No? Oh wow, okay. So from Mito, we take a straight forward. And let's try left. I could have sworn it was a right. That's that's not right. Because the music, basically the music will keep playing. Huh. I could have sworn. Huh. 
Ah, very odd. It's not this way, I know that much. Where is it? I could have sworn. All right. Let's go straight forward. Let's go left. What the heck? I thought I went this way. So I was right. It's a, it's a, you go, you go straight from Mito, take a left, and then make a right. I thought I did that. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let me just show that again in case you guys weren't paying attention. Because apparently I wasn't. So here's Mito. You go straight through, and you go straight from Mito. And then you go left and then you go right for some reason I thought that was the first thing I did but it didn't take anyway we're here now this is where we need to be what's up Navi from here on out we'll be going through some narrow passages if you take it slow maybe you can sneak up on some enemies um and she's gonna tell me to use Z targeting and all that stuff now we've been here though right like who cares about enemies? We dealt with all the enemies. I mean, it's Deku Scrubs, but we can handle them, right? Okay, unfortunately, I need to... Okay, I need to save because I don't want her to repeat that. I don't want to... Yeah, I, I... That was a whole big bit of dialogue that she... That I couldn't skip. Or... Bleh, that I couldn't skip. Anyway. If you use Z-targeting, you can kind of strafe. And you can see we've got these guys. Uh, these guys are pretty intimidating. If they see you, they will bum rush you. There we go. If, if I don't know what they're called, they don't appear to have any name, um, or you can't really target them. But if they see you, they will bum rush you. I'll show what happens when they bum rush you. Yeah, they just do that. They're pretty mean. Um, so what you do is you just, uh, you, you wait for them to come. Wait for them to turn around. I wait for them to start walking. So his back is turned to me. And then, yeah, just use your hook shot and they die. One shot from the hook shot and they're down. So that's, that's pretty good. And I think there's one... Oh, I think he's, I think he's, yeah, there he is. All right, which way are you going? Okay, he's going to actually walk this way towards me. He's going to walk right by me, so I'm just going to get my hook shot ready. Hey, bud. And then we should be in the clear. Oh, there's one right there. All right, what we want, uh, do not, yeah, just wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That really kind of sucks. Okay, turn around. Let's get up here. Crap. I was about to say, my hookshot only goes so far. All right, and then uh, let's save again because this part's a little tricky as well, and I'm gonna probably yeah No, I don't want to do that There's another one now this one's different. He's got a club and He takes a swing and Basically uh, causes like a wave of rock dust to come right towards you, right? And so if it hits you you get knocked literally all the way back See, watch this. You're still not doing a good job showing it. Yeah, you get knocked all the way back, in addition to taking the damage. So what you do is you just do you you have enough room to dodge it. You have enough time to dodge it, and then you just sneak by the guy. 
ta-da! And then, if you feel like it, you can take him out with your sword. He goes down in two hits. Uh, if you use your hookshot on him, he's a little different. If you use your hookshot on him, you'll just stun him. But you can't get in range of the hookshot until... Until he's in range of attacking you with his club. And at that point, if you pause to use your hookshot, uh, you'll most likely take a hit and get thrown all the way back. So it's better to just sneak, to just go around him. It, it's actually pretty easy. Alright, well this is our destination. Well, I see a big Triforce platform. Ah, oh, yep, that's the place where we and Saria talked. That was our hideout spot back in the day. Oh! Hey, Sheik. So good of you to just drop in unannounced. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest. Oh yeah? Are you gonna teach me another song? That's pretty easy. A up, left, right, left, right. Nice harp finish there, Sheik. Thanks for the jam session. All right. Link, I'll see you again. That's what you said last time. And you didn't lie. And gone. All right. So yeah, the Minuet of Forest, all that does is it warps you to this point right here. So, and we could have unlocked that a long time ago. We could have unlocked that, you know, a few videos ago. So, you know. So if I ever leave and or if I quit and restart, you know, whatever, I can just play the Minuet of Forest to come back to this point. So that's kind of cool. Now I want to see something. It's daytime now. I want to see. Let me change it to nighttime and see if this will actually uh, do anything. I hope I don't get. I actually hope I don't get warped all the way back to the beginning. But I think. I sure did. I got warped all the way back to the beginning. Alright, well, that's what the song is for. That's not right. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what that does. Oh, and that enemy down there has uh, rematerialized, so there you go. I'm just wondering if there's any kind of gold sculptures around here. I believe there is. But I don't hear them. Well, I'll look for them. Anyway, um, to get up here. See, I guess, you know, you can come here as a kid, but there's no way to get up inside that temple. To get in that temple, you need... The hook shot. Remember, Sheik told us we needed something. The hook shot's what we needed. All to get onto this platform. Oh, well, that was kind of cool. I didn't actually mean to do that, but there you go. What happens if I... No. No, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. We don't want to go into the temple just yet. Huh. I thought there was a gold sculpture around here. Huh. Guess not. Are there any secret passages around here? I guess not. For some reason, I thought there was a gold sculpture around here. All right, well, no big deal. Um, anyway, the temple. This is the temple that we need to go to. So you see how long it took me to get there. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I kind of stretched it out. I kind of made this video last, but it's been about 30 minutes. Um, 
Yeah, the temple's long, so that's why I wanted to make it to split it in the two videos because in the next video that's what we're gonna do we're actually gonna go into that temple we're gonna take care of all the business in that temple and that's gonna be a long enough video on its own so I figured I'd just get this one you know give th make this part its own video because I remembered that I wanted to talk to some people in Cockery Forest I wanted to see Link's house and show you navigating your way up to the temple and getting the uh The minuet of the forest, and that guy, that guy's not gonna let us pass. Which I can just, <clears throat> I can pass him the same way I did before. But alright, I'm gonna stop yammering. In the next video, we are actually... See, I swear there's a way to get up there. <clears throat> Whatever. In the next video, we will actually go into the temple, and we will see if we can find the lost, or the missing sage. And hopefully we'll discover what Saria has to do with any of this, because she seems to have disappeared. Maybe, uh, maybe she's with the Sage, who knows? Maybe she's the daughter of the Sage, we don't know, we don't really know. Anyway, in the next video we'll take care of business. So thank you all so much for watching, my name's 480 Volts, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace's!